Right, first up here at 10, three beloved members of our community considered staples at the Florida Strawberry Festival sadly are now gone. Randy and Jill Scott, along with Jill's sister Judy, they all died in a crash yesterday in Parrish. And now our community is rallying behind their family. Fox 13's Kylie Jones is on this one for us live in our newsroom tonight. Kylie, so sad here. How are they being remembered? Mark, very tragic. People are still processing, of course. When you think of the Strawberry Festival here, a lot of you probably think of Randy and Jill Scott and Judy Cook. Their pastor says they had every intention of coming home yesterday, but he says their deaths now leave an inexplicably gaping hole in more ways than one. Not only did, did the Scott family lose uh, their family members, but we all lost a piece of us yesterday. Uh, it's Every pastor's nightmare. No pastor wants to go through what we've gone through over the last 24 hours. The nightmare of losing not one, but three prized parts of a Plant City staple. If you've been to the Florida Strawberry Festival, you've heard this voice. Oh, we heard the national anthem when we opened. That was Randy Scott singing. When we heard Happy Trails at closing time, that was Randy Scott. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Florida Strawberry Festival. This For decades, Randy Scott was the voice of the Strawberry Festival. Nobody thought this year would have been his last. Randy, his wife Jill, and her sister Judy Cook were killed in a head-on crash Monday in Manatee County. If you didn't know them, maybe that was their goal. They never sought the spotlight. They never wanted a pat on the back. Kyle Robinson, the president of the Strawberry Festival, says Randy, Jill, and Judy were vital parts of the festival from sunrise to sundown. The trio also held special spots within Graceway Church. Randy's always at the sound booth, but he took the Sunday off to worship beside his wife, Miss Jill, and Judy. And it was the first time they worshiped together, sitting beside each other in a good while. Very special day. Little do they know that would be their last. Come Sunday, their loss will be felt deeply within these four walls, but their memory is unwavering. What an honor and a joy it was to be their pastor. And thank you for loving on our family and allowing us to love on you. And their family's pastor says he wants to have some sort of tribute to them on Sunday at their service in their memory. The crash is still under investigation, Mark. All right, Kelly Jones in our newsroom. Kelly, thanks very much. We're certainly thinking about all their family and friends.